Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Absolutely. So if you would like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter and Instagram. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself on shit, 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 shit. On there, on there. Okay. And while you're here, you can check out some of my recent videos. A couple days ago, I posted a uh, Let's Talk new releases. And then before that, I posted an Everything Wrong with Scandal. And then before that, I posted a video talking about the Grammys, which happened last week. Damn, time is kind of crazy. So, I'm here in a bonnet again um, because another YouTuber slash group of YouTubers um, needs to be deplatformed. So, I got out of bed this morning and I rolled over and I came and sat down right here. Um, another YouTuber needs to be deplatformed or a group of people need to be deplatformed. So I'm going to tell you who and why. So today we're talking about David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad. Okay, so this video is safe for people who don't know what the fuck is going on because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like if you, if you don't know anything about what's happening, like you don't even know names. I was where you are like two days ago. Um, Believe me, I was where you were. But then I watched um, Smokey Glow, I watched Hannah's video on it, and it was phenomenal. Go watch that video as well. And so I like now know. So this video is going to be safe because I'm going to I'm going to tell you who all these people are because I didn't know before. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. There's also an insider article telling Hannah's story. I'll link it in the bio in my in the bio, Amanda, in the description box. You pay dollars to read it. Just telling you, you have to pay a dollar to read it. And then there's a trigger warning for this entire video. There's a trigger warning for sexual assault, for rape, and for like serving alcohol to underage people. That can be a trigger. So those are the trigger warnings for this video. This, this, okay. <clears throat> Before I start, everyone that I'm talking about is going to hell. Every single person that I discuss is going to hell. Let's find out why. Okay, so. Let's talk about what happened. I'm going to give you a picture of a person. I'm going to tell you what they did. There's it, This has been happening for like, oh, has it been a week? I don't know how long it has been going on. I'm going to give you the Sparks notes. You don't, there's like other specifics. You can go watch like the actual videos of these people talking, but I wouldn't recommend you do that unless you want to hear your ears bleed. So I'm just going to summarize it. First up, so this is Todd and Jeff, okay? This is Todd and Jeff. They look like, um... The Jonas's third cousins doing a men's warehouse ad like that's what this is giving but this is Todd and Jeff Okay, so these two were accused of buying alcohol to underage girls underage means under the age of drinking They're over the age of 18, but not 21 yet Jeff so Jeff is oh, I don't remember who is who Looking at these pictures. Okay, so the pictures that I put up Todd is the one who's wearing the olive shirt and Jeff is the one who's wearing, who has this hair looking ridiculous. Let me just verify by searching on Google. Todd is the one in the olive, and then Jeff is the one with the white hoodie with the snow in the background. Okay, so. Correct? So Jeff is who we're talking about right now. Jeff says that it, he, he's the one being accused of buying the alcohol for the girls. Jeff says that it wasn't him. He said it was not him, and then he specifically says it was not David either. But he knows who actually bought the alcohol, but he just won't say it. And he has now posted a video addressing this whole situation. He's kind of scrambling right now, but it's the summary of the whole video. He's scrambling because it's the only way he can maintain relevancy. So that's what's going on there. Um, Jeff is also simultaneously trying to discredit Trisha Paytas because she was one of the whistleblowers of this entire situation. He, Jeff is saying that he's innocent. He doesn't know, like, he doesn't know what's going on here. I'm innocent of all charges. And in this video or live stream, He starts speaking and people who have um, read the article start noticing inconsistencies with what he's saying and pretty much realize that this Jeff man has not even read the article in which like what he's being accused of doing is talked about. He hasn't not read the article. He didn't want to pay the dollar. He made a whole video on what he's being accused of and did not watch the video of what the person was accusing him of. 
All right, so clearly not the brightest crayons in the bunch. Um, those are, that's Todd and Jeff. That's it. Next person, this is Dirte Dom. Y'all were watching some weird, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. Y'all were watching some weird shit. So this is what he goes by. So Dirty Dom or Dirt, whatever. He is the one who actually raped Hannah. The That's like the alias they're using for the woman who was assaulted in 2018. So basically what happened is on his Instagram story, he, wa he posted that he wanted a foursome and was like, come to this ad, like come here if you want to engage in a foursome. So these girls came, they were not interested in doing that. They just wanted to come and just meet a bunch of YouTubers. This is 2018, by the way, 2018. Like, so remember what 2018 was like. They just wanted to come and meet YouTubers. They were not interested in doing that at all. Well, they noticed that. And David was like, well, that's boring. <clears throat> so let's get them alcohol allegedly to loosen them up and make them more fun for the vlog. After so after getting them heavily intoxicated, as in like falling over, as in disoriented, as in not in any shape or form able to consent to literally anything at all, um, Dom then manipulated two of the girls and convinced them to hook up with him, and then he ended up raping Hannah. Next person involved in this kind of, this is Seth. Um, Seth is basically always harassed by David. These are all members of the vlog squad, by the way. So apparently Seth has been tricked into kissing people he didn't consent to kiss like twice at this point. David just, this is David's monkey. Like David's like a jump and he's like, how high? Basically, David made this man his bitch. He would do any, he would have him do anything he wanted him to do because David loved that power, allegedly. Okay, next, Scotty Sire, Joker smile head ass. So he posted a video a couple of days ago. It has now been taken down after a piss poor notes of apology came out after it. He posted a video and was acting as basically the vlog squad's mouthpiece because they couldn't really say any, they couldn't really say anything. So they took, they were like, who has been in relatively no drama? Who was the least problematic one of the vlog squad because none of them are like un and who was the safest option to release a statement through and it was Scotty so they, he posted his video um in the video he basically was like Seth wanted clout so that's why he wanted he wanted to do the, the prank like the kissing like somebody didn't consent he wanted to do that prank again basically someone would have like a mat like would be in a costume so he wouldn't know he was kissing so he wanted to do that again because he wanted more clout that's what scotty said and people were like oh it looks badly on seth or whatever but no no i'm already i'm very annoyed and i haven't even shared a single one of my opinions that i'm trying to like like get like the whatever Next person, last person, this is David Dobrik. In case you don't know who he is, you know who this chipmunk is. Now, how does he connect to all this? I'm gonna give you some background on David Dobrik and the vlog squad. Um, makes very eerily similar content to Jake Paul, but with like 90% less backlash. Makes content for kid kids under the age of 16. He gives adult class clown. He gives creep, honestly, to me. He gives dance puppet dance. That is David Dobrik, okay? He also dated Liza Koshy, you probably if you were on the internet at that time, heard about their like super big breakup or whatever. So you know who this man is, right? So his team and him knew that this insider article was coming out. That's why he posted a two minute and 30 second video entitled Let's Talk with the comments turned off and the likes to dislike ratio turned off as well. So he's just barking at you. So David Dobrik's name is being thrown in this for multiple reasons. One, because of bigoted jokes made throughout the vlogs. Two, for harassing Seth. And three, being an accomplice to the sexual assaults of Hannah. That's what he's in, like, the situation because of. Liza Koshy's name also did come up um, because she was in some of the videos making tired, tired ass, racist ass jokes. So she wrote, like, a word document apology and screen recorded it and put it up on her YouTube channel, like a weirdo, because she's a weirdo, whatever. That's what she did. So he says in the first, he says, um, first, David Dobrik says first that he made over 600 vlogs. So, of course there are going to be some bad jokes th throughout the video. Of course, there's gonna be racist jokes. Of course, there's gonna be misogynistic jokes. That's just like, what do you guys expect? There's been 600 videos. What do you guys expect? 
from me as an individual to not make racist jokes what are you kidding me you expecting me not to be a misogynist that's crazy okay and that's one so he vlogs everything so yes hannah's assault was in the vlog he put it up on youtube he got the views that he usually gets on the vlogs it stayed up people watched it a normal amount of people watched that vlog and I'll come, I'm coming right back to this. Hannah then later down the timeline asked for the vlog to be removed. Obviously once she like remembered what happened to her, she asked for the vlog to be removed. So, it, and then it was removed. So he was very much aware of this whole situation. Don't let him or anyone else tell you that he's not. David Dobrik is fully aware of everything that happened at the time that it happened, all right? So David's first apology, I cannot sit still, I'm so sorry. David's first apology was posted onto his least subscribed to YouTube channel, the channel that he uses to post the videos, the like video recordings of his podcast. He is a coward. He posted it on the channel that he posts the visuals of his podcast of his podcast. But because a YouTube algorithm loves and will suck the teat of anything David Dobrik, um, it was picked up and put on the trending page. His apology that he put on that channel so that people wouldn't see it is now on the trending page. His two minute apology video on that tiny channel compared to like his big main channel is put on the trending page and then taken down once everyone realizes that it's on the trending page. Nobody's supposed to see that. Quick, take it off. This has been over the past few days. The story is still here. It's not going anywhere as of right now. So now sponsors have started to distance themselves from David. It's really crazy because I'm going to read you this list of sponsors and your mouth might drop. Sorry, my mouth did. EA Sports, HBO Max, Honey, Red Hot, like the hot sauce, SeatGeek, Chipotle, and then he was an investor in this app called Dispo. He's no longer an investor because they said you got to get out or we're not getting, we're not buying this app or something like that. I don't know. I don't know finance, but it's to that degree. Did you hear the list of sponsors I just, I just, I just told you? We could really start there. No. What black person have you seen with those sponsors? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, we're starting. What black person have you seen with those sponsors? A black person could literally never curse on this app ever. Could talk, could literally like vlog them playing Candyland. Vlog them playing Candyland, never curse, always smile, and will never be handed a single one of those sponsors. Never, never. But David Dobrik and the vlogs, I mean, it's, it's, it's the vlog squad channel that got these sponsorships. That's so confusing to me because, um, they nasty. They're nasty. Then David starts deleting videos off his channel on mass, which, you know, is always signs of innocence. Then he posts a second apology on his main channel. Now, after all his sponsors said bye bye. He was told about John's behavior multiple times and still engaged in this behavior, kept it there, enabled it, brought, like, um, engaged in bringing underage girls, underage in terms of the age of drinking, not underage in terms of under 18. Kept doing that. Now, David, guys, guys, David believes everyone now. He believes everyone now. He just didn't believe that his childhood best friend could do anything of this degree, right? There's no way. And apparently people were telling him like, it's just cancel culture, don't worry about it. Y'all all need to go straight to hell. Everyone in that comment section of his second apology video as well can all go straight to hell. Like y'all could not be serious. Y'all really took the phrase cancel culture and just ran with it. Just ran with it. It was supposed to be like ironic. Like it was supposed to be like ironic. And then you, if I ever hear someone, like people, my professors, use the phrase cancel culture. And that's why y'all have lost the plot. Y'all picked up on a plot, but you didn't know what was going on. So that was just a tangent, but I'm annoyed. So you are completely caught up now. That's what has happened in summary, in case you've been a little bit confused. So So everyone in the situation has lost their goddamn mind. 
every single name that I just named, and I didn't name every person in the vlog squad. Um, I probably put a picture up like at the very beginning, but uh, yeah, everyone involved has lost their goddamn mind. The vlog squad is hell on earth. The vlog squad is hell on earth. That's what I'm getting from this whole situation. That's what I'm getting from this whole situation. It's hell on earth. And it needs to go. It needs to go. The whole institution needs to go. All right. Look at the culture that has been allowed to literally fester on the internet for so long. And it's eerie how much it parallels Hollywood. Look at the creeps that are allowed to rise to power, rise to the top while allegations are, because I want to, like, this is not, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later too, this is not the first time things have come up about the vlog squad. It's not. It's not at all, which is, I'm upset. I'm really angry right now because I'm like, y'all will let anybody get famous. Y'all will let just anybody get famous. I don't know how successful this, like, this, like, um, the canceling, <laughs> y'all are insane, of David Dobrik will be, but he should be deplatformed. He should be deplatformed, that whole squad should be deplatformed, but when you have a fan beast that concrete and set in stone and that underage, it might not happen. But let me explain my history with the vlog squad, which is absolutely nothing. I have never watched a vlog squad video in my entire life. It just never ever seemed like my cup of tea. I was never a fan of not a single soul who was involved in the vlog squad. Um, I saw Trisha Paytas in there. I said no. I saw David Dobrik, who I, I like, and the Lisa Koshi, who I knew from Vine, and I was like, no, y'all weren't funny on during, y'all weren't funny in six seconds. You're not gonna be funny in 15 minutes. I saw also saw a 50 year old man hanging out with these 25 year olds, and I was like, no. Like every single red flag that could exist for a YouTube channel exists in the vlog squad. Every single red flag that could exist exists in the vlog squad. I gathered information from context clues. This vlog squad gave to me, it gave frat, it gave Mountain Dew and Piss Yellow, it gave one single bottle of four in one Arctic Dew body wash for the entire house. That's what this whole concoction, this whole company, this whole fraternity gave me, and I had no interest. I never wanted to, you know engage and I'm not judging y'all for watching it I'm not you cannot tell in my tone but I'm not but damn y'all was bored y'all were really bored I hope you're not that bored anymore because Jesus fucking Christ all right Jesus fucking Christ and I'm just confused because let me explain you something when I was watching this whole thing go down like before knowing kind of what was going on I was like damn this is really terrible imagine if they got if they got like the assault on camera though because I know he vlogs a lot I was like they could really put him away because of that turns out they did this is what is really crazy to me and which is where I have to like literally lay down and I had to like think about this her assault was a part of the vlog and nobody even like noticed that's where I am judging this be apparently this behave I've never I don't watch these people. This behavior was common. That's what I'm getting from this whole situation. Is that this behavior was common enough to not sound off any alarm in a viewer in a YouTube um, monetization checker. None of none of this was enough. It was common enough that nobody even noticed. It didn't sound off any alarms, and that fact is sounding off every single alarm in my head and I am worried. Who else has this happened to? What kind of culture have y'all been allowing to fester among the top influencers on this platform? Because the fact that most adults hearing this were like, yeah, that checks out. I have, you have no reason to not believe anything that's being said right now, that is terrifying. David Dobrik is one of the biggest creators on this platform. He's one of the biggest creators on social media. And look at this. Look at the environment that he's created and is festering right now. All of these people are shaking and crying for a piece of clout that he has to dole out. Like he, like this is Oliver Twist. Can I have some more master? What? What? 
unless you were fine with doing crazy shit, you got kicked out. Dance for me. And I'll give you all this attention. All of these people like came and joined because this is how they're gonna remain famous, obviously. Like what will they do now if the vlog squad is kind of going down, right? Taking advantage of that power. Internet clout has so much power. You have these people acting like cartoon characters. Like I've seen clips of the vlog squad like, that have made it to Twitter. They just be doing anything. They just do anything. Anything. Like, anything. These are literally fraternity brothers. They are literally doing anything and they're like, ooh, dangerous. The more dangerous is the more cool it is and more people will watch it. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? What is going on? And I, I said I wasn't judging people for watching this and I'm not, I really am not, but I am because I'm a little bit confused at this point. All right, but it's not your fault, but and then people are sitting here they're like okay wait now I'm confused because they're like why is the focus on David and not on Dom because Dom is the one who actually like raped Hannah y'all are annoying me because um, I'm fairly certain the people who are trying to like hold David accountable also want Dom to be held accountable um, maybe you can't eat and chew at the same time but maybe you can't breathe and chew at the same time but the rest of us can I don't know what that's about people always do they're like why you guys I can do two things at once I can do two things at once I can you not because y'all gotta stop doing that. To deflect responsibility off of your fate, you have to stop doing that. Just because, like, that's not, really, really guys, really, this, you're, really, I'm not judging you. I am though. You're gonna lose every moral you apparently didn't have over a man who looks like a cartoon character. Are you kidding me? And this is what he has allowed to fester on the internet? That's who you're losing your morals over? I'm judging, like, back to my point. David is a problem here too because if it was like that's what I'm confused about that's what I'm confused about because this is not the only time this has happened in either case in like Hannah's case or Seth's case actually there's no way y'all's grown balding asses are feeding underage underage to drink girls alcohol so they'll be more likely to have sex with you and we know that this was not the only time y'all won't even be able to sell that. That'll be the next thing we'll try to sell. Is it like this has never happened before? That's just not true. That's just don't even try it. Now he's scrambling. David Dobrik is scrambling, trying to delete videos on his channel because he knows his ass is even guiltier than what has been said before. Why are you mass deleting videos? That's not the sign of an innocent person. Never the sign of an innocent person. Never the sign of an innocent person. And it's not just David. It's a culture. This is not, he's not the only one. How many influencers does it come out that are taking advantage of people? How many, how often does this have to come out before someone is like, damn, there's a problem here. And when I saw someone say him and Jake Paul make very similar content, and then I was like, from the clips I've seen, they kind of do. But David has been, remained untouchable pretty much this entire time. I cannot, this is not the first time people have been like, like the vlog squad has messed up. This is not, this is not the first time people have been saying that, but David Dobrik has remained untouchable for this long because y'all think he's adorable and wouldn't harm a fly. Get a grip on reality. Get a grip on reality. He's been able to get away with it for so long and that is even more terrifying. He facilitated rape. He allegedly, he knew what he was doing. He engaged in it. He saw what Dom was doing. He put it into his vlog. Nobody saw anything wrong with it. He definitely has responsibility in the situation and you trying to deflect because you love him so much is getting a bit out of hand. No one who wants David to be held responsible for this is wants Dom to go scot-free. I wish you guys would get out of your pea brain ass mind. Are you kidding me? Join me in the world of multitasking. Join me if you haven't joined beforehand. Don't absolve him of that. Dom did the action, but David is an accomplice, allegedly, <laughs> without a doubt. Don't let him wipe himself of what happened to Hannah at all because he cannot. He cannot. He knows that. He 
cannot discredit what happened. He knows he cannot discredit what ha what was said in the article because it's very believable. There's not a reason that you should believe people regardless, but that's not even what I'm talking about right now. You should be believing people regardless, but there is no reason in the world to not believe what was said in this insider article. So he knows he can't discredit what happened So because there's no reason to not believe Hannah, even though people are always look, trying to looking for one, they probably still are right now. Now he's trying to just distance himself from what happened. No, sir, you played a key role. You were like a supporting character in all this. You can't just like wipe your hands and move on. That's not possible. I won't let you do that. I can't, that's why I'm sitting down right now. Won't let you do that. Can't, sorry, sorry, Amanda has no fun. Can't, not when this is involved, no. You need to be deplatformed. You need to be deplatformed, sir, David. He's sitting there being like, I can't believe my childhood best friend would ever do such a thing. Well, he did and you helped him. So how can you not believe it if you facilitated by Meowkal, saw Dom ha manipulate underage girls into going into the room, and then you were sitting outside of the door giggling like a 12 year old. So can you not believe it? Or is that what your lawyer told you to say? I'm really fucking confused because you might need to fire him because that's a bit bad advice. You can't believe it, but you helped him do it. You helped him do it. So how can you not believe? Believe it, baby, because this is real life. And the nerve he has, he started crying because his sponsorships like started falling through. He can really go all the way to hell. Some are like, are you kidding me? But now he has a video of him crying on the internet, right? He has a video of him crying on the internet and everyone is rushing to his side to forgive him. Like this is a literal child. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> like it's so, it's so eerie how like fraternity culture no matter you can be on college you can be in work just the first just rape culture this is where it, it's it's prevalent everywhere it's the same thing everywhere everywhere no matter what like hat you put on it it all acts the same which is what people have been trying to tell you about the vlog squad for years but nobody wanted to listen because your adorable king with chubby cheeks could never harm a soul right back to my point now he's a video of him crying on the internet <laughs> And everyone is rushing to his side to forgive him. And it's like, cause y'all want this to not be true so bad. You guys want this to not be true so bad. And I am so sorry, that is not the case. This is true. This is very, very, very true. This is that, this is real. That like nice teddy bear man that you guys love so much is a fucking monster. Like it's, and it's cultivated a cult of fellow monsters that go around wreaking havoc, allegedly. That like, it's true. I know you guys are trying to deny it like as much as possible. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. This is no longer healthy. Living in that much denial is not healthy. This is true. This happened. And while this is, this is what's also very crazy. While some people are rushing to forgive David, but y'all were never mad at him in the first of the thing. If you're looking for a reason to forgive because you don't want to let him go, you never held him accountable in the first place. David Dobrik stands have been looking for, th that's what I learned from going in the second Apollo's videos comments. All of you guys, including all you verified folks were looking for a reason to forgive him. There was no, you can't hold somebody accountable if you're sitting there waiting for reasons for it to not be true. If you're like, all he needed to do was cry on camera. Are you kidding me? I could cry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? And it, so while people, I would love to say again, his fan base is young. His fan base is really young. It's, fan base, it's so interesting how this happens to have really young. So they're usually like pair that. So the parasocial relationship and then they're mostly minors. Definitely the most stable concoction in the world. Definitely. Back to my point. While people are 
Some people are trying to forgive David Dobrik. Others are rushing to forgive Trisha Paytas of all fucking people. And for what? Because you guys have, not you guys, you guys have no backbone. That's what I've learned about the average YouTube viewer is y'all will believe anything. Y'all will hop on anybody's side because you want to be a part of something so bad. That's what's going on here. And it's bizarring because not even when it's a serious issue do y'all stop this this nonsensical behavior. This very teenagerish, childish behavior. I don't understand, guys. Some of you guys are teenagers, so it's fine. Why? Because Trish Paytas was right, okay? People, worse people have been right. I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. But that doesn't mean like the, uh, everything that she has done is now, I don't know what, I just went through three different sentences and didn't finish a single one. Whatever. I don't know what is up with y'all and why you guys want to give people redemption arcs so, it's probably because you agree with the shit that Trisha Paytas has said and does say. That's the only reason that I can think of why you guys have been trying to push for Trisha Paytas redemption arc for the past four years. Okay, Trisha Paytas was correct. Okay. Let's move on about her. That's what I'm doing. Okay, Trisha Paytas was correct once. All right, what are you guys having for lunch today? That's, that's how, that's how that is supposed to go. When you have a person who is like Trisha Paytas and has done what Trisha Paytas has done, that is the appropriate next step after hearing a truth from an awful person. After hearing a truth from an awful person, you're like, wow, okay. Can I order something today? That's what's go. That's what happens. Okay, guys. She also, first of all, I would also like. That's very interesting to me. How Trisha Paytas like admitted she was like, yeah, I was there, saw the alcohol, but then I left to wipe my hands. Everything. This is the person y'all want to give a redemption arc to. She left everyone there because she wanted to wipe her hand of a situation. She left those girls there. Like, are you kidding me? 2021, yet another attempt at a Trisha Paytas redemption arc. Are y'all not tired? You do this once a year. This happens once a year. Trisha Paytas says something that like other people have been saying, namely mostly black people have been saying with the likes of David, the vlog squad and creators of that sort for the longest time. But Trisha says it and not only do y'all actually believe her, y'all believe her, you actually look to redeem her for known information. Black people have been like, the vlog squad's not right for years because they've been racist. Many a time. Back when, like, 2018, when they were on top of the world, YouTube was on top of the world in that time as well. Like, black people were like, no. People were like, no. People were just like, no. The vlog squad. Because any, like, context clues would have given you what kind of environment is happening over there. And everyone was like, no, I don't believe you guys because you're monkeys. But then Trisha Paytas says it and all of you guys believe her. And then are doing free labor to set up a redemption arc for this woman. Again, we live in a crazy, crazy world, guys. Like, it's really maddening to me. It's really maddening to me. Trisha Paytas, that's how y'all want to redeem for reals, for realsies. Really? Really? <laughs> she was a part of this shit, too. And then now, obviously, where did all of this nonsense happen on a platform that I exist on called YouTube? I've turned to YouTube now as I do in all these videos because none of these videos were taken down. I don't know what this video that I'm recording right now is gonna be marked as, but it's gonna be marked as something, probably violence against another person, like my Shane Dawson video was. But none of these videos were taken down. What do y'all do when you do that checklist of things? Cause like there's a list, so when you post a YouTube video, you like self, 
regulate it. You're like, okay, I cursed in this video a little bit, but it's still safe for ads. Like you do that. But then they, they check it themselves. There's an automatic check and then you can request a manual review. What are y'all doing during that time? Because how does all of this slip through the cracks? But I call Shane Dawson a loser and now I can barely, YouTube studio is gone to me for like a couple, I don't, under, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. What are, this is not the first time this has been, this conversation has been brought up because of an event like this, a conversation about the influencer culture and what exists like around here. And YouTube has yet to say anything. They're like, use our platform however you want as long as you make us money. We'll even put your nasty ass apology video on the trending page for you. He has been brazen, this David Dobrik along with others who've been doing this sort of thing this whole time, have been brazen because what consequences are going to happen? The only consequences that can happen come from outside YouTube's platform. So when David Dobrik plays all the sponsorships said goodbye, they said goodbye, How all his income is gone now because he wasn't making much from AdSense in the first place. So like, but like, YouTube's not gonna do shit. Y'all only took down Shane Dawson's video because white people made a stink about it, because it was hip to do so at the time. But they had been up there for 10 years. And you saw no problem with it. But if I curse a little bit too much in a video, no money, Amanda. No, no, none, none, not at all. Not nothing, no, I'm taking everything you own. It's pathetic, and you will, in the crate, oh, he's gonna come back and you're gonna let him do it again. Logan Paul, Logan Paul, two years ago, this was Logan Paul, or three, I don't remember how long ago this was. This was Logan Paul. And now look what Logan Paul is doing now. He's on YouTube, he is monetized, he has sponsorships, it will happen again. Logan Paul got a redemption arc from this platform. I'm sure David Dobrik will too, but, I don't want him to, which is why I'm making this video. Deplatform this man. Deplatform everybody in this squad. They all need to go. They all need to go. This is a scourge. This is a scourge. And, you know, this needs to go. This, this, yes, this, including all the people. Um, all of this needs to go. He's shaking and crying because of the sponsorships are going away. That's why that, but we all know that, hopefully. We all know the reason why David made that second apology was because his sponsorships were disintegrating into dust. We all hopefully made that connection on our own. Um, no more. No more. It's so crazy to me because I'm like, it's not just David Dobrik, it is Jake Paul. It is the Paul brothers. It is half of those TikTok white boys. It is half of them, half. No, maybe even three, allegedly. Three quarters. Are you kidding me, guys? The thing is with Jake Paul, I'm like, Jake Paul has done this sort of shit too. Like the throwing parties with minors there and just like, that's why I think it was last summer that the FBI raided his house. And like, I thought they were raiding his house because I'm like, oh my God, you guys are going to arrest him for throwing parties with minors, allegedly in, in presence? Finally. No, because of guns. And I said, okay, so are we going to come back? for the, like, that? No. 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 So everyone involved is what? Going to hell. One. Two. Everyone involved is scourge. Three, everyone involved should be deplatformed. That is the end of my TED talk, and it's 9 a.m. I don't know what else you want me to say. If I say anything right now, like, I'm. If I say anything right now, it's gonna be rude. So I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. That's the end of my video. Nobody noticed. Oh no, people noticed. Black people. And we're like, this is weird. 
but y'all listen to Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas is a more reliable narrator than a black person. Thanks for that. Thanks for that so much. But um, yeah, you don't need to redeem someone else because she happened to be right one out of 10 million times. I just think y'all want Trisha Paytas to be famous again. I mean, just do that if you want to just do that. Y'all don't need to come up with fake reasons to redeem her. Like, it's weird. It's so weird. And I'm like, is her content good or something? I've never, I never watched any of these people. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so that's the end of my video. The vlog squad is going to hell. The vlog squad literally seems like hell on earth. Literally seems like hell on earth. To be a part, like, you have to dance for David Dobrik of all people. Man, you could literally punch across the football field, allegedly, but whatever. Like, you to do all that for him. Oh. And then he can get and sit and cry on the internet and get his sponsorships back, most likely, because David Dobrik has basically transcended YouTube. But all the rest of these people will fade into obscurity, as they should, and then in like two months or something. But, I, what's my thing that I wonder? They're doing all of this like damage control for like David, like, like Scotty being their mouthpiece, Jeff being like, David did not buy the alcohol. I know who it was, but it definitely was not David. Let's not add to that anymore. But will he do the same for y'all? Because when this all like ends, I'm pretty sure he will be fine, but you guys will not be. But y'all wanted to still be in high school, right? Or something. Hmm. That's the end of my video. So yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on David Dobrik and just tell me any variation of where he's going to go in your mind, whether it's to hell, whether it's to fire and brimstone, you know, getting your own creative spit on it. So yeah, that's it. Um, in some, I'll have the article, the insider article linked down below. You can go Please read that if you like. Please read that. It's a dollar to pay, but like maybe there'll be like screen touch up. I'm not really sure. But like, please read that because this cannot be allowed to continue. Who else has this happened to? That's all. When I finished the article, when I watch people's videos, I'm like, who the fuck else has this happened to? So, 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 so many people. So, so many people, like at this point, at this point, so, so many people. And we, they won't all receive the same sort of like, they won't receive the same sort of like outrage behind them. Cause for different reasons, it's crazy. And it was vlogged, it was vlogged, it was vlogged and then put up onto YouTube as a platform. And it was just there, a fun part of the vlog this, this, this woman's traumatic. It was a fun part of the vlog. David gets everyone drunk to make them more fun for his vlogs. No. Nobody is innocent. Stop trying to do that. Not a soul in this is innocent. You all participated and contributed to a culture that has allowed this to happen. Take responsibility for your damn actions. They're all 30 years old. They're all 28 or 30 years old. And then that 50 year old man is there for some reason still breathe. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, no. I'm going to stop. That's it. That's it in my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to watch me, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself on there. Super, super fun. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos that should be on your screen right about now. Yay! And that's it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're staying healthy and safe inside your homes as best you can. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.